Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. In this video, we'll be learning about, about the if formula, which is one of the most interesting formulas in Excel. Why? Because it allows Excel to take decisions on your behalf. Yes, that is right. Excel can take decisions on your behalf based on the inputs that you give to it. For example, if we say that we should give increment to people whose total sales for January, February and March are greater than 100. Give increment to them only. That decision can be done by Excel. If you were to do it yourself, what you would do is that you would go ahead and put a sum formula over here and see which all of these people have sales greater than 100. So you will I go like this, highlight them. Okay, then these ones highlight them and then this guy and this guy, correct? However, with if formula, with just one line of code, you can do it for thousands of people. I'll show you how. So if you see, I've actually done it over here right now. If I just copy this formula across within a second, it tells me that the people with yes are the ones who qualify for incentives because their sales are greater than 100. How did I do it? I'll show you. I'll show you proof also that it is correct. So what we will do is we will just keep this formula over here. Okay, so that I'll explain what it is doing and then I'll copy it for you. It says that if the sum of these three cells is greater than 100, then in the incentive column say yes. If it is less than 100, then say no. Simple condition. So how do we do it? Is equal to if bracket open and then it says logical test. My logical test is that the sum of these three cells should be greater than 100 comma value if true I can ask it to type anything over here so I am asking it to say give incentive and if the value is false then I'll type in comma so it will move to the value in false and within quotes I'll say no incentive Close the bracket. You get your answer. I copy it down. Control C, Control V. Give incentive. No incentive. Give incentive. Let's check whether this is right or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a simple sum. Anything that is greater than 100 should be a yes or give incentive. So let's match. See this one. Give incentive. Give incentive. All greater than 100. This one greater than 100. This one both greater than 100. Isn't this simple? There are many ways of using the if formula. The basic idea is that we should understand how it operates. So I'll show it again now. Is equal to if it says checks whether a condition is met and returns one value as true and another as false. So if I type in if and then I need to give it a logical test. Logical test can be anything. If this number is greater than 100, if this number is less than 100, if this cell has a number in it or a text in it, is it empty, is it blank, whatever, based on whatever condition there is, you can go ahead and write the if formula. So like again, I'm saying my condition is if the sum of these three cells is greater than 100, then if I press comma, it says value if true. So the value if true says that if this condition is met, then what should I print? Then you should print in this case, yes. Remember, whatever you need it to print as in yes or no, give incentive, not incentive. It has to be in quotes. Only then will it take it as a print command. Comma, value false. 
as in what should i write if the condition is not met simply say no this time then close the bracket you can copy it control c bring it down control v and you get your yes or no you can actually go ahead and practice this formula by going to mylesson.org and download these practice files from there and then understand more about the if formula on this channel there are more than 15 videos on the various use cases of if formula i would request you to go to the channel and find out more videos in if formulas if you want to learn more about the amazingly powerful if formula i hope you like this video so until the next video this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning